In this exercise, we look at another common design pattern, the automatic image carousel. We've all seen them on websites and apps where the images or cards automatically slide into place. Regardless of where they are found, they are remarkably easy to prototype in Adobe Experience Design. I thought with this exercise I'd switch things up a bit and use a web page format. Though you may see three images, they are actually in a mass group. So if I come over to the uh, main here, and you can see there are the images, Xiamen, Wuhan, and Shanghai. And the three images are butted up against each other and then masked, and that's where I'm using the rectangle one. For each of these three artboards, all I did was to move the image into place within the mask group within that artboard. Now wiring this up is dead simple. And what we're going to do is we're going to use time as the trigger. So the plan is to have each image visible for two seconds and then the next image slides into place over another two seconds. Before we get started, it is really important for you to understand that time can only be used as a trigger between artboards. Let me show you. So I'm just going to zoom out a little bit here so you can see a couple of artboards. So we're going to swing over to prototype mode and we're going to drag a wire from the main artboard to the second artboard. So we'll just drag a wire right there. And there's time right there. And we're going to set the delay to two seconds. So that means it's going to wait two seconds before the transition starts. And we're going to select auto animate as the action. And we're going to set the ease duration to two seconds. Okay, so to see what I was getting at about a time trigger, Select the image on the first artboard, and if I just pop down the you know, animations, you can see right here, time's not there. It only works with artboards. So we've got the first artboard wired up. Let's uh, do the remaining artboards and test. So we've got a, a wire going from, the, from Maine to Wuhan, and now let's take a wire from Wuhan to good old Xiamen. And let's give it a test. So there we go, there's two seconds. One, two, and it's not going to start because we haven't gone back. So let's go back. Now remember, you can't attach wires to two artboards, so we're gonna to have to kind of fake it. So we're going to come over to this Xiamen. We're gonna take a wire from there to there. And from this artboard to this artboard. Okay, and we'll just take a quick look at what we've got here. So we'll go to main, and we'll test. One, two, switch. One, two, switch. And we're gonna go back now. Okay, so that we know that works. So things are wonderful. Now I'm going to zoom in here and we'll show you one other little thing. And under each of the images is a page control element. Now these elements are traditionally used to let the user know how many pages are in the sequence or images are in the sequence or whatever and where the user is in that sequence. We can also use them as interactive navigation elements. Here's how. So I've zoomed in on the page control on the first artboard, and I'm going to get the selection tool. I'm just going to double click this element. And we're going to select the middle dot, and I'm going to just zoom out a little bit here so I can see where I'm going. And I'm just going to drag the dot to the second element, or the second artboard, and it will be a tap, auto animate, Wuhan, ease out, two seconds, perfect. So let's give that a shot. So I just come over, see there's the... Okay, so we're going to come back. And we'll just tap on that dot, and boom, there we go. So there you have it, how to use time and auto-animate to create a self 
running image gallery with user interactivity. Just keep in mind, time can only be used as a trigger between artboards.